everyone, my name is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Storytime at the Calusa Library. Today we're going to be reading Hurry and the Monarch by Antoine Oflatharta and illustrated by Milo So. Wow, I'm so excited to read this. Look at all of those monarch butterflies. How beautiful. Let's get started. Wow, so here is a map of the journey that monarch butterflies take every year. It's so impressive. They fly all the way from Canada through the U.S. all the way to Mexico. Wow. Hurry the Texas tortoise is starting to think about winter when out of the bright October sky, a monarch butterfly lands on his back. Oh, that's funny. The tortoise's name is Hurry, even though he's a tortoise, which means he's really slow. <laughs> That's funny. What do you call this place, asks the monarch. Wichita Falls, said Hurry, and that's my back you're standing on. Wichita Falls? Not far enough, says the monarch. Not far enough for what, asks Hurry. For staying, replies the monarch. Staying? Huh, what could the monarch be talking about? With that, the monarch opens her wings and flies off Hurry's back. Eye level with Hurry now, the monarch seems fascinated with the old tortoise. How long have you been here? asks the monarch. Seems like forever, says Hurry. Maybe one day you'll break out of that shell, grow wings, and fly away, says the monarch. I doubt it, says Hurry. It happened to me, replied the monarch, thinking about that extraordinary morning when she first opened her wings. And what is the monarch talking about? Oh, she's talking about when she became, she went from a, a caterpillar to a butterfly. Wow, maybe she thinks that Hurry can do that too, but he can't because he's a turtle, right? Or a tortoise? Hmm. Where did this happen, asks Hurry. Far away in a place called Canada, in a garden just like this. Why did you leave? asks Hurry. The days got colder, says the monarch. What do you do when the days get colder? Sleep, answers Hurry. Cold days always change back into warm days if you wait. I don't have time for that, says the monarch, flying away from the garden. So the tortoise uh, waits for the winter days to get uh, warmer and for it to become spring, but monarch butterflies migrant from a cold place to a warm place. Wow. She joins more monarchs. They turn the sky orange as they continue their journey south towards Sweetwater. Wow, look at all of the monarch butterflies migrating south. There's so many. Back in the garden, a cloud passes over the sun and Hurry shuts his eyes. As the old tortoise begins to dream, the monarch travels on, resting at night in places you would expect to see a butterfly rest, and sometimes in places you would not. So while he's sleeping, the butterflies are continuing their journey, and every so often they have to stop. And where are the butterflies stopping? On flowers, of course. Have you ever seen a monarch butterfly or any type of butterfly next to flowers? I sure have. Wow. Each new day brings new sights. Sometimes a day brings danger. Oh, it must be exciting to see all the places as they're flying over, but it could also be dangerous too. Oh no, the bird is going to get them. But the monarch survives, flying now towards Eagle Pass then over the waters of the Rio Grande into Mexico. Oh, good. The bird didn't get them. And they're continuing their journey. On and on, she flies until finally, one November evening, she finds it. The warm green forest she has been searching for. She hangs from a bow, adding her tired wings to the soft murmur of a million others. <gasps> They found warmth in the forest, and now they're all going to uh, jump onto the trees. Oh, that's so exciting that they finally made it. The monarch in flight from winter knows she has found the perfect place. Oh, they found the perfect place.
perfect place to stay for a while because it's warm, it's bright, it's lovely. Oh, and what do we see in the uh, branches there? It's a little bird! They're sharing the space with a little bird. Oh. Spring returns to Hurry's garden. He slowly opens his eyes and feels the warmth of the sun. Never fails, thinks Hurry. Then one morning, the monarch also returns. So where are you going now? asks Hurry. Back to the beginning, answers the monarch. Do you mean Canada? asks Hurry. Possibly, says the monarch. So wow, now that they've stayed a long time in a warmer place, they're going back. Oh, it's so good that Hurry got to see the monarch butterfly again. Wow, and look at all of the beautiful spring flowers. How lovely. Butterflies can be infuriatingly mysterious, thinks Hurry, watching the monarch lay her eggs on a milkweed plant. Then she flies away. In the town of Stillwater, she flies in through an open window and thinks it might be nice to rest her worn wings for a while in the folds of a sun-colored curtain. For a while becomes forever. Oh, she's staying there. But she laid eggs in the Stillwater plants. That means there are going to be monarch butterflies there too. How exciting! Back in the garden by the milkweed plant, Hurry sees a newborn caterpillar. Hello, says Hurry, but the caterpillar doesn't answer. He is too busy eating the milkweed leaves. It's the butterfly! It's the butterfly or the egg that became a caterpillar and eventually it will become a butterfly. Wow! It's in Hurry's garden! Isn't that funny? Hurry watches and waits as the caterpillar grows, shedding skin after skin, then crawling away to hide under a twig. The caterpillar is getting bigger and bigger, and they're eating more and more. And now they're hiding under the twig. But this garden is Hurry's whole world, and there is little in it that is hidden from him. Aw, yeah, the caterpillar might be hiding, but Hurry can definitely see it. In the weeks that follow, Hurry sees an amazing transformation happen right in front of his still and patient eyes. A new monarch emerges from the shell, wet and wrinkled. Wow, so the caterpillar made a shell and now it's becoming a butterfly and Hurry got to see it. That's so funny. He was wondering about how that happened in the beginning of the book and now he was able to see the caterpillar become a butterfly. For a while, he clings to his empty shell, waiting for his wings to expand and dry in the warm sun. Oh, that's so cool. After a few hours, the monarch spreads his strong new wings and flies towards Hurry, landing on his back. What do you call this place? asks the monarch. Here we go again, says Hurry, as the monarch opens his wings and flies off Hurry's back. What's your hurry? asks Hurry. I am off to see the world. What do you think it's like? asks the butterfly. I imagine, says, Hen says Hurry slowly, I imagine that it's like my garden, a place full of astonishing things. I can't wait, says the young monarch flying away. And wow, the world and the journey is like Hurry's garden. It's extraordinary. It's full of astonishing things, just like Hurry said. Oh, wow, Hurry's garden is also a really lovely place. It's so exciting that the butterfly is going to see new sights. <laughs> Well, that's the end of our story. It was so interesting to see the butterfly's migration from one country to the other. And it was so cool to see uh, the butterfly. First, it started as an egg, then as a caterpillar, and then a butterfly, and Hurry got to see it all. That's so cool. Well, make sure to look at the questions and the activities that we've, pop that we've included along with the video. Until next time, bye. Thank you for listening with us.